Hey guys, it's Colonel Coffee here from 221B Gaming and you're joining us on the final step just now on the Taken King raid, which is King's Fall. We are about to kill Oryx himself. Now if you haven't seen this guy, he is an absolute monster. What do you see the size of him? He's huge. This requires a lot of teamwork. I'm going to jump straight into the tutorial and do as best I can to explain it because it is quite tricky. So, like I said, it's a lot like the previous step. Um, you need to assign four people to the mini pillars, you have one person on add duty, and you can assign one person to be the torn between dimensions person, because unlike the last step it's not random. What's going to happen is, as you're about to see, two knights will spawn on the back two pillars, you have to kill them. When you do, Oryx is going to move round either left or right to one of the pillars. When he does this, he's going to slam his hand down on the pillar, and he's going to leave behind him the orb of the Torn Between Dimensions. Now the person that you've assigned to that person has to jump up on the platform first, immediately followed by the person assigned to that platform, as you can see. Now it's the same order, you're always going left, round in a circle, until you can get the relic. Now as soon as you stand on your platform, an ogre is going to spawn. It's important that you kill him as fast as you can, you do not want him to get out of that corner, or it's going to be more difficult. Now, after the person getting the relic says that he's got the relic, you all have to head to the middle and group together. Now, he's going to kill a knight. After he gets the relic, a knight will appear. He has to kill the knight and take the knight's aura. He's going to bring the aura to where we are. You need a weapons of light here because you need to do as much damage as you can. You can only damage him from within the aura here, I think. But the aura keeps you alive. So if you look at his chest, it's going to open up. You do as much damage as you can. Now where you killed your ogres, the ogres are going to drop these black balls as you can see on screen. You need to run back and they've got a black aura around them, you need to step inside that aura. Now if you look at the bottom left of your screen it will come up saying Paul Coffee has detonated uh, composed light or something I think it says. But when it says that, when your name comes up you have to run right back to the middle, back into your aura or he's going to kill you. Now this is very important because each orb you detonate does 25% more damage to the boss. So if you only do 1, 25, 2, 50. It's very important that you do the whole whack or you're going to struggle. Now, Orcs is going to come to either the uh, the front or the left, the front right, front left platform from where we are now. And uh, on the second time, he's going to go to the back ones. So, for example, when on the second time when he goes to the back area, and I have to run to the black orb after I kill the ogre. I have to get back to the middle as fast as I can. You have to run a longer distance or, you're, or he's going to kill you. But we'll get to that in a second. So after you shoot him for the first time, you're going to stun him. When he's stunned, you'll know clearly when he's stunned because he'll scream. You have to run back to your ogre's black orb, then run back to the middle, do some more damage, and then he's going to teleport back to the front. Now this bit is kind of cool. When he goes back to the front, he's going to start firing these kind of light warlock supers at you. It's like a big bubble. Now you have to run. The only way to survive this is to run around in a circle. So what you do is, once you've killed him, once you've done enough damage the second time, you need to head back to your pillars. So the people on add duty and the people turn between dimensions need to go to somebody else's pillar. You need to run around in a circle. Try and stick together. Just run around and the thing will keep, he'll keep throwing those things at you, but you need to keep running around the circle and you'll dodge them. It's, you'll see in the video, it's kind of tricky, but it's, it's pretty straightforward as well. So, after you've done that, you repeat the process again. As you can see this time, he moved around to one of the back areas. And it's the same thing, he damages his chest. I unleash one clip, because I'm further away this time, I have to run right back to the black orb. And you stand in this aura until on the bottom left it says Cold Coffee has detonated right there and then you run back to the middle and you do some more damage. Now when he gets to under 50% health, instead of making you run around in a circle, he's going to do something different. He's going to teleport somebody at random to another dimension. It's basically just going to be a trapped circular room, just like when you're killing him in the story mission. You're going to be in this circle room, it's just you and basically a circle wall around you. And he's going to have an Echo of Oryx. Now you have to kill the Echo of Oryx 
before you all die. And this is difficult because he only teleports one person into another dimension at a time and it's random. So as you can see the black orb in the middle that means he's, he's teleporting somebody. So one person's in there right now. Whoever's not in there has to stand to the right and the left of the black orb there and kill ads or they're going to get torn, they're going to get teleported as well and they're going to make the people inside suffer. So if you're outside you take out ads until you get teleported inside just like this. Now, I almost killed myself there because somebody put a weapons of light up as I teleported in. That would not have been good but you know. So you basically, he's only ever going to be outside of the, the white smoke so you have to look around until you can see the echo. And then you just kill him as fast as you can. Like I said, it's quite tricky. If you don't kill him fast enough, he's just going to make you white. So, once you've killed him, he's going to teleport you right back and you're back to square one. He's going to go to either the left or the right side, slam his hand down, and then we have to grab the relic again and repeat the process. So as you can see, he was at my friend Slider's platform first, and then he was at the other corner where Here Comes the Boom was. And then the third time around he's back on slider again. It's completely random order. So like I said, you repeat the process. You kill your ogres. When the person going for the relic tells us that he has the relic, you head to the middle. Now he will go and kill the knight. And grab the knight's aura. Weapons of light. Get out your snipers. Snipers are the best for this because they just, especially the red snipers with the cocoon ability. So you stand in the aura, you do as much damage as you can to his chest, and then you run back to your ogre bubble. When you're in your bubble, you wait until your name comes up saying that you have detonated the composed light. Corrupted light, sorry. Head back to the middle and do some more damage. Now again, if it's under 50% health, instead of making you run, run around in a circle, he's going to teleport you again. And you have to kill another Echo of Oryx. Now, it's quite tricky. But if you get the basic system down, you'll be okay. If you know what you're expecting, you'll be okay. So anything above 50% health it's always going to make you run around in a circle trying to avoid those blasts under 50% health he's going to teleport you to another dimension one thing I'll say as well which is why we have to kill the ogres when they spawn instead of letting them roam around is the black orb that they drop if you step in that before the right time before we've stunned oryx they're going to detonate prematurely and we're not going to do enough damage to them and if this happens even on the first try, even if we've done almost no damage, he'll teleport us. So it's very important that you detonate those orbs at the right moment, at the right time. So that one was getting better there. By the time I had teleported in, they'd already killed the Echo. So like I said, it's very important to kill him as fast as you can. When you come out for the second time, it's just repetition. You're just going to do the same thing. So this, the best possible scenario here is the first two times that you're going to damage him you want to take him to just above 50 percent health that way you get a third try before he teleports you and then you can because teleporting it is kind of a nightmare it's, diff it's difficult so the best outcome is you can get three sets of damaging him before he does the teleportation thing and then you can you only need to damage him one more time so we're coming up to the end here and i'm going to explain what happens once you repeat the process for the last time, kill all your ogres, regroup in the middle, and you're going to do damage to the boss again. If you do enough damage to the boss, and he's going to have just a slither of health left, you can see right now he doesn't have much, but he needs to have literally a slither, a sliver. So on the last attempt, obviously, if you blow up all the orbs again, it's going to take off a huge chunk of his health. Now, we had him down to like a millimetre of health before we got to this step on one, on one occasion. And we did loads of damage and it just wouldn't touch him. So it seems like this is a must. As soon as his health gets to the smallest amount possible, instead of going to teleport you or make you run around, he's going to go to the front and open his chest. So when his health is low enough, 
you need to head to the front as fast as possible. Put down a weapons of light and just give him everything you have right there. This is where you kill him. So you have to be ready for that. You need a weapons of light ready just in case because we've had it where he's had absolutely no health. We've had no weapons of light. We've fired rockets and snipers and not killed him. So, you, you know, weapons of light is quite important as well. So I, I really hope this guide helped you guys out. If you just watch the footage, you'll understand what to do. I hope I explained it okay. Like I said, I tried my best. It's difficult to understand. And as always, if you need more assistance, then just message me in game and I will help you guys do the raid. I, I love doing the raid. It's just so fun. So big thanks to Iceman, Overkill, Cody Nips, Sliderman and all the people that we did this with, we changed people all over time. They all did so, such a good job. And I thank you all. And I thank you guys for watching. This has been fun.